All right, take three. Yes, I recorded this three times now, and I keep deleting it, and I'm going to do it again. I did a call earlier. It's been about a little over an hour ago, I'm trying to get my mind right, you know, and clear my thoughts on all this. So I don't say nothing too bad on here and get blackmailed by uh, YouTube. But I got a call, and I went and did it. I called this person on the phone to find out because it was on the highway about where they're at. This all started real bad, real quick. I wish I'd recorded the conversation. She, they couldn't hear me on the phone because they wouldn't turn down their radio and it was my fault they couldn't hear me. That started it. Finally turned down the radio, told me about where they were at. So I, on the call, it came across to me that they hit a pothole, there was tire damage, rim damage, and undercarriage damage. And there was uh, three car, cars on the road in the same spot from this pothole. Okay, so they called me out to go to it. No big deal. Like I said, the phone call got me going. When I got there, this lady was just on it. You know, I, I did my routine. You'll see on there. I tried. I went out of my way, you know. She told me she had a flat tire, you know, that she had a tire ordered in. I was going to go to her shop. She wasn't having it. She wanted her spare tire on there. I even showed her that the wheels are way out of line. A spare tire is not going to do no good for her. Now, you all know me. If you watch my stuff long enough, you know I would go out of my way to help somebody. I would spend hours on a job site helping somebody and not getting paid just because I wanted to help them. Now this young lady, you know, let's just say this. I am not your servant. Sorry. I don't care what membership you bought. You know, you pay for your cable TV and if cable TV goes out, they're not going to be out there that day to fix your cable TV. It's just not going to happen. Same as a tow truck driver. I have the right to refuse calls. I've been known to just unload people's cars right where I picked them up at and leave. If you're not my mom, if you're not my dad, if you're not my lover, you're not going to talk to me like I'm a child. You're not going to make me your servant. It's not going to happen. As you can tell, I'm still pissed off. So anyway, after it's all said and done, you'll see the rest of it. I left. Called dispatch. Dispatch sent out a... Uh, light service duty truck. Now for you all that don't know what a light service duty truck is, they're basically guys that run around here, they do lockouts, they do jump starts, they do, you know, change a flat tire for you, you know, whatever they can, light service duty to help you get you back on the road. So they sent him out. He went out and changed a tire and he listened to her bitch and complain about her membership and her whole life story and da 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 da. Well, after it was all said and done, she started up her car and drove about 20 foot, 30 foot, and realized that she couldn't drive the car. Now it needs to be towed. So the call came back across my back across my tablet to go tow it. I refused to do it. You know, we was already over there once to help her, and she didn't want to do it. I already talked to my other guys and told them. We were already been there once, and they didn't want us to do it, so... She's going to have fun. You know, it's not the right thing to do, but you know, you can't treat people like dogs. You know, a lot of people out here just think they're entitled to everything that goes on in this world. Sometimes that entitlement backfires and bites you in your butt. I feel sorry for the lady. You know, I wanted to help her, as you'll see on the video. I went out of my way trying to please her. But I just couldn't do it. And you know, if she'd have been nice, I'd have went ahead and changed the tire. With my b bad rotator cuff surgery, my, I mean, sorry, scratch that. You know, with me having rotator cuff surgery, I'm really not supposed to be breaking anything loose from my right arm. I'm trying to take care of it. But I would have went ahead and tried to do it for her. If she'd have been a halfway decent person about it. But, you know, the 
with that kind of attitude and that kind of nonsense, I just wasn't going to have it. Wasn't going to do it. Don't care. I got paid to show up and be on scene. I'm going to take my little pay and I'm going to go about my business. Hmm? Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Here's the video. How are we doing today? Great. So, yeah, it just looks like this one top. We've got three cars here with three flat tires. Something ain't right. Yeah, there's a pretty bad pothole. Is it really? Yeah. Well, if you want to grab your purse, honey, let me put you in my truck where you be warm and I'll get this thing loaded up. Can, um, can we not just switch out the tire? Switch out the tire? Yeah. No, I just got a tow truck. Really? Yeah. I just had rotator cuff surgery on my right arm, so we ain't cranking no boats. Okay. Yeah, I don't really need my car code. I just need my tire switched out. I need to call Triple A though. I'm doing court in like three hours. I could take you right around the corner to a tire shop and I can switch it out for you. Yes, so tonight you're going to have to I wait on another guy to get here and you're going to probably be waiting there 30 minutes to an hour. I mean, I've been with AAA for seven years and this is their fuck up. I told them exactly what I needed. Well, they had you talk going to Burke Automotive. I already have my tire ordered from Nida. My place, I guess. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Going I'm to not... Midas? Well, I'll take you to Midas real quick then and drop you off there and they can put a new tire on it. My tire doesn't come in until this afternoon. Oh, I got it's you. Like the accident happened at 7.30. I got you. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to put um, AAA back. I'm sorry. Hold on. I don't want you to have to stand up. Thank you for calling AAA. Welcome to AAA Roadside Assistance. Please hold for the next available service representative. Your call may be monitored and recorded. AAA offers text message updates to your cell phone that will keep you informed of the progress of your service request. If you are not to receive text messages, please be advised your wireless carrier's messaging and data rate will apply. I ain't changing her fucking tire. I don't care. This 71 highway out here, the plow truck has destroyed this road. There's hot holes everywhere. You see, I got a car back there. I don't know if you see it on this camera. I got her. There's one in front of me. And all of them's got tire damage. Hey, hon. You're tight. Come out here. See how your tire is going inward? Like you're turning the, w the wheel? Come over here. This one here is really turned. I'd say it fucked up your whole front end. So changing your spare tire ain't going to do you no good anyway. It's going to have to be aligned. Well, then it'll have to be aligned. But they're going to have to come out and do what I asked them to do. Well, well changing this first tire ain't going to get you down the road. That's what I'm saying, because the tires are oddballed. Then we'll cross that road when we get there, but this is... I mean, I don't pay all this money and have insurance with my home and both my cars God. for seven years not to get what I asked for. Okay, well, that's on you all. Thank you. Yep, fuck you then. Fucking bitch. You just can't please everybody. Except on the side of the road. She gotta go to court. I don't care. You know, you just run across them people sometimes. 